was the original surprise, um, what do you call it? Oh, it's a 700 square foot house. Yeah, it's a 700 square foot house. There isn't very much in there. The, most of the stuff that we have in there that are, um, that's borrowed are movies. And it's because most of the people in the neighborhood are um, Mexican and uh, low income families and... They just put a low income um, housing behind us, which we're, which is going to have 200 kids, I think, 200 families. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I think it was like 200 families with two, 200 kids or something like that. And so they were supposed to open up just like a couple weeks before we closed down because of the COVID, but it was supposed to get busy. Um, but it was mostly just sitting on my butt all day, just. Like working at movies on Central, renting movies out to people. That's what I was doing all day. It was no porn, but <laughs> not like back in the days where, where everybody was running their porn. I love that. I remember that same sex porn that I rented accidentally. It was all like how to get laid. Like it was like gloves and dental dance and stuff. It was the unsexiest porn I'd ever seen. <laughs> One. And plus, Maymay's only been out of the closet for a year. Yeah. That doesn't mean she just should not have used it. Because they used it, it got lost inside. <laughs> there would be no reason for her to use it. I one. was married for she 16 years. She was married years. for 16 years. But your vagina wasn't married for that many years. I still don't know. Mm. Yeah, but you, you knew your sexuality. You... You embraced it at a younger yeah, age. Yeah, I... She... Tisa's the first woman I've ever been with. Yeah, but you know where she could <laughs> What did she say? Do you know where she has been? <laughs> yes, she has. No. <laughs> I love you. Just, okay, let's drink to that one. Let's go. Let's drink to that one, she said. Okay, let's drink to that. Okay. Drinking to where I have been. Good thing we're not talking about where <laughs> Shelby has been. I believe in you. I had a work meeting. I was on a Zoom thing. You know, Kate, uh, 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 popular. <laughs> I can't even talk now. I've had two shots and I'm already. Um, Teresa? Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, just saw that, um, I just saw that Katie has joined a house party. Ooh. You know, you Why is know this Katie open? getting married? Um, I saw that she is getting married. I saw, and then she keeps posting, I can't believe this woman is mine. And I know. It's disgusting. Yes. But I have to say that her um, fiancé, Ashley, is super hot, super nice. Um, so, yeah. And I will be a co-officiating the wedding. Sweet. Yes. But I don't think Karen's invited. Oh, she still has ill feelings towards her? Yeah, I mean, I uh, think a lot of people do, and that's okay. I mean, I'm not See, I did at it. first when you told me, I was like, ooh. But then I'm like, whatever. Like, people change, people grow. And she, looking at her and seeing her, she definitely has grown a lot and changed a lot from the last time I'd seen her and the last time you were in a relationship with her. So... And everything, when you know, you know. And you guys knew, and you decided to do what you did. Yeah, you know, and I'm not going to sit here and act like, you know, obviously you're my very good friend. We've been friends for all these years. I'm not going to expect my friends not to have an opinion. And it's okay for people to have opinions. Um, I think that that's part of having a good friendship with somebody is um, allowing that person to have an opinion, express that opinion, and still respect them, um, and hopefully, 
you know, that's the, I, I hope that the other side is returned for me, whereas I have an opinion and they respect my opinion and they still are my friends, even though they may not like my opinion or my decisions and so on and so forth. But I think, I think the same thing can be said for everybody. When you have a good friendship with somebody, it doesn't, you can, you can disagree with a choice your friend has made, but when you really love someone and you really want to continue a friendship with somebody, you have to decide what is more important, the decision that they've made or the relationship that you and that person have. Very and true. How, exactly. How that friendship and that relationship needs to continue to be nurtured. Especially a lot of the friendships that we have formed over our lifetimes because a lot of our friends yeah. are back from when we were teenagers. Like we all like all of us hung out at the coffee shop. Like most of my friends are from those days. Like yeah. the newer friends newer friends I would say like are like four years ago, five years ago, but they're that's still a long time to have a friend nowadays. I mean, yeah, I look at Katie and I have been friends for since I was 15 so 21 years Katie and I have been friends you and I have been friends for 20 years so um and I ha- and like same thing with like Kyle Kyle and I have been friends for 20 years um so like my very good friendships have been really long friendships and we haven't all agreed all the time and we haven't all got along and we all had a talk all those years you know there have been periods where we haven't spoken i mean Teresa, you and i we had years where we didn't speak um but i think that when you have those close friendships and i i think a lot of it stems from friendships that we've had when we were younger um i think that there's something about that bond and that connection that we make at a young age before we have had all these experiences that have probably you know made us you know jaded us or um changed our outlook we formed we formed relationships with people when we were still at such an innocent phase um, in our lives that I, I think that that is like the foundation to a really good friendship. And my really good friendship are friendships I have with people for a very long time. Yeah. God, I was that age. I was married. Yeah. See, she was married when all of us were... I was 20. She was 20 when she got married. So she has missed out on the, the, the like... For Mike and I could still be friends. Her first husband, she said she could still be friends with. But I'm not because of our past. He's just, I still talk to him though. And your different opinions would definitely be a hard. <laughs> He's a trumper. He's a trumper. Her ex-husband. Hard. hard. That's, so Which is weird because he's a, bi, he's a bisexual man who take, took Sindel to bride, but he's a trumper. Of this in the in the quarantine and everything, there's been a lot of this that I've seen on social media. You just told her. Sorry, I thought I told you. Oh, that just happened. She just accidentally outed her dad. But you didn't. (laughs) Your dad's lie. If she needs to work through her stuff, she can talk to her more about it. (laughs) Well, Sindel has come out as pansexual. And she's been out for like two years as pansexual. She's 12. So she came out when she was 10. I still prefer... I did. I, I still prefer queer. I, I'm i queer. I was bi at first. I'm queer. You know? I, I really do. Like, you know, I don't... My friends say that I'm homo-romantic because I, I like having sex with men. I like having sex with women. But I've only been in a romantic relationships with women before. Um, and enjoyed romantic relationships with women. Um, so I just like the phrase queer. But I have to say, like, I'm attracted to asexual people, transsexual people. Uh, I'm obviously, you know, identi- you know, identifying as female, male, um, non-binary. I, I mean, shit. I, it's, half the time, guys, I don't even know what they are. They're hot. They're hot. That's how I look. Why are you more, I am more attracted to queer? people who want to grow rather than just people who are hot well i don't look at someone and say do you want to grow like i look at someone and say do you want are to you f- gonna look good in my bed later that's where i'm at am i gonna want to kick you out super fast or <laughs> keep you for a little while now, well tisa seems to, like, to think she knows who i'm attracted to and who i'm not and i've been right every single time oh, i don't know okay all right all right all right all right hold on so 
So what is your what is your type that you're attracted to? She screwed my head up about this whole thing. How did I screw your head up about this? Because it's true. I mean, we can't say any of it because. Let her, let her answer the question. Let her answer the question. Huh? Because it's. Yeah, because it's not like I. Every time there's a hot girl that she thinks that I'd like, she's like, "You like her, don't you?" And I'm like, "She's pretty." But she she blushes, and so I know. And then she goes, "Shut up!" So I know I'm not dumb, like. And I can tell. I'm not stupid. I'm very intuitive. And you hate that. I do hate that. She hates that I'm very intuitive. But you know what? Okay, but what, so what's your fight, though? I don't know yet. I don't know because I'm not very experienced. I don't. I haven't been with a lot of ladies, and I'm fixing to get married to one. So I don't know. I can't explore that side of me. Because if I do, I'm going to lose the best thing that ever happened to me. I mean, you could explore it. Like, okay. You don't have to be attracted to everybody. You can still be attracted to other people, but going and having sexual relationships with them, it depends on the relationship. So there's a certain amount of... I'm sorry. I'm not saying go out and sleep or anything like that. Oh, yeah. No. Sorry, the dogs are in and they're being very aggressive. Licking. As dogs are. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a sugar He's super aggressive as as you can see. (laughs) Oh, yeah. (laughs) Kayla, your breath is so hot. But yeah, like I'm a, the people that we were attracted to. It's like we're tra- are you serious, dog? Okay, sorry. But yeah, oh yeah, give them breath mints because they're the breath stank. You know when we if there's a show on and I say you're attracted to that person, she's like, no. Like, how do you what's know? What's her name Why? from um, Station 19? The one who was on stage singing. I don't know what her name is. But yeah. Which one from State 19? Because I watched that show. The firefighter who was The firefighter that was dating Jackson. Oh, her. Yeah, she's hot. I do her. Yeah. (laughs) See? But I have to say that the blonde, the the, um, captain, the paramedic girl who is portraying a gay character, I don't like her. I don't like her either. She doesn't do it. Yeah, I don't buy it. You don't she buy it? Do, like, I don't, he's not gay. Oh. Like, see, that's my problem. I, I really want them to start, there are, there, I want, if you're going to have gay characters, hire real gay people to play them. True. Like, one of my favorite movies is Call Me By Your Name, because I read the, I read the book before the movie, and I'm not, Army, Army Hammer does not play a good care gay guy. And and Timothy Chalet or what the fuck his name is sucks. Like that peach scene, like he could have decimated the peach and he did not decimate the peach with his penis. Just so we're clear. <laughs> Just so we're clear. Just so we're clear. With his penis. Um The new L word? Like, what? The new one? Um, yeah, the new one is awful. And the thing I, the thing I don't like about the new one is they're so busy trying to make sure they're checking every box. Do we have an, do we have an Asian trans character? Do we have enough African American characters? Do we have enough white characters? Do we have enough, you know, Hispanic? 